let your heart be troubled Trust in God Trust also in me In my father's house are many rooms If it were not so I would have told you Welcome to the fifth Sunday of Easter let us pray. Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, have overcome death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life, grant that, as by your grace going before us, you put into our minds good desires, so by your continual help, we may bring them to good effect. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our reading today comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 14, beginning to read at verse 1. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact, will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son, if in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. This is the word of the Lord. The words which Jesus speaks today come in the context of a meal just before Passover. Jesus had started the evening by washing the disciples' feet. Then he goes on to predict that he will be betrayed and he tells Judas to do it quickly and Judas leaves the gathered disciples. Jesus tells the faithful ones left that they must love one another and that by their love, people will come to know that they are disciples of his. The disciples had expected that they would be following Jesus until he established his reign and they would share in that. A future without Jesus was a shattering thought it gets worse. Jesus tells Peter that he will deny him, not once, but three times. This was truly dreadful, not just for Peter, but for all the other disciples. Peter was not a bad disciple, quite opposite. The disciples know, would know that if Peter denied Jesus, then there was no hope for any of them. So Jesus is heading for the agony of the cross, and we know that he is deeply troubled in heart and spirit. 
Yet, in this time of enormous personal trouble, we find him not thinking of himself and his own death, but rather giving emotional and spiritual support and comfort to the disciples. They are in a state of confusion and fear, so he is seeking to give them truths which will help them overcome their grief and despair in the days ahead. In this pandemic, we are all being forced to contemplate the vulnerability and limitations of life, some of us for the first time. As much as we try to avoid it, we all inevitably encounter troubles and difficulties, and sometimes more than we think we can handle. Jesus knew his disciples would have to face adversity and trials after he left them to return to his Father. Jesus assured them that his departure is for their good in order to secure a place for them in God's house, a place of refuge, peace, and everlasting happiness. The Lord Jesus assures us of a safe passage to our true home in heaven with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. If heaven is our destination, how can we be so sure we know the way without some kind of map or guide? Jesus proclaims, I am the way. The Lord Jesus does not simply give advice and direction. He personally is the way and we cannot miss it. He leads and guides us personally every day. So Jesus prepares the disciples for the fact that he will be going away. Yet he makes it clear that it is all a part of God's wider purpose to change things for the good. His death will be something which brings clear benefits. He is not abandoning them, but rather he is going to prepare a place for them. There is nothing of which we need to be afraid. Just like the disciples, we can find that our fears and disappointments can be trusted to Jesus. His last words here remind us that he and the Father are one, and in him we too have a place in that relationship which is eternal and will never end. The disciples were confused by this, but the response of Jesus is wonderfully simple. Believe in God, believe also in me. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son, if in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. This is comforting and not a blank check to misuse God's power, but a promise to help the mission so that the Father may be glorified in all. Jesus makes two wonderful promises. I am going to prepare living space for you, a mansion, a place for you, and for all eternity. Trust God and trust me, that is what I'm going to do for you. And secondly, when the time is right, I'll come again and take you to that place. Two wonderful promises of God. Jesus wants to reassure the disciples that they cannot be separated from him even by death. He tells the disciples that he's not abandoning them, rather he's going to prepare a place for them. Jesus promised he would send the Holy Spirit to the disciples. And Jesus says to you today, trust God, trust me. I have gone to prepare a place for you. In my Father's house are many mansions, many living spaces. If this were not so, I would not have told you. Jesus' words to his disciples and to us today are very clear and specific about hope that reaches beyond death. Trust God and trust in Jesus. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life, grant us to walk in his way, to rejoice in his truth, and to share his risen life, who is alive and reigns now and forever. Amen. God bless.